Hello, this is Hotel Management System named Flora. This system is particularly for a hotel which provides lodging, boarding and meal. Generally what happens is whenever customer check in in the hotel and if they are needed some services, they have to contact manager even for small, small problems. But using this app, this won't happen. Customer will be provided a code at the time of checking in. Using this code, they can ask for any service just by one click. This hotel management system is divided into different models like admin, employees, customer, admin, uh, now admin. Admin can manage rooms like ad adding room, categories, room, or can delete room. All the status of bookings and payments will be shown to the admin. And also all the information of employees will be provided to admin. If if any employee resigns the resigns the hotel, he can easily delete the information information from the system. Now employee. Employee have to first register themselves as per their role. Employee just have to register on website and rest of the work will be assigned on application. Whenever user request uh, request for the service, they will get notification for the same and they will have to work accordingly. Now customer. Customer can go through the website uh, available and if they want, they can register themselves uh, and by logging in, they can, uh, they can book room as per their choice. So let's go through the website. This is user side. User, user can check the website like um, this is home page and this is about information this is gallery after uh, after after just um, moving cursor on it it will get um, pop up then contact us uh, now you can see user is not uh, logged in and this is only welcome welcome written over here now uh, whenever a user want to book a room he first have to uh, uh, log in themselves if it is it, it is new, if he is new to the website he have to register now first name let's say Shita last name then email uh, then contact username Isha and password yeah. after register um, um, this toaster will get generated over here data inserted successfully and after registering uh, he will have to log in now he uh, she is logged in and it will shown over here welcome isha now he she can uh, and this button is uh, changed to log out now she can book room by uh, choosing type of room let's say deluxe deluxe then bedding category double check-in date let's say first february check out date Fifth of February. Uh, if uh, if she is all um, she is uh, already have booked the room, she can just pay the pay the bill. Now she is new to the she is uh, new to the website. She have to first book room, and uh, this uh, um, booking ID is generated over here, and she her um, booking ID is sixty five. It's, uh, now she have to fill all uh, fill all the information. It was sixty five. Then billing mode amount. Let's say this. Billing
eliminate today's spread and status Pay. This um, toaster will get appear here, and she is good to go. Uh, and if she wants, she can just log it out. And this uh, button is now changed to login, and this segment is just welcome. So this was user side. Now let's go to the admin side. So this is admin side. Um, as uh, no one is logged in, so you can see there there are, there are no components, and this is only welcome uh, written over here. And uh, this button is login. Uh, now, uh, as um, this um, uh, this uh, website uh, works for uh, employee as well as for admin. Now, first let's go to the admin part. Uh, admin just have to um, login. Uh, the components are given are shown here uh, because admin can uh, see available room status of um, booking payment employees and profile now this is uh, this button is changed to logout button and welcome shweta is written over here now if user want to uh, change uh, their information they can change by filling all this information then uh, the first main uh, main task of uh, admin to add room so there are um, already these uh, these many uh, books uh, rooms available now uh, admin can add room category uh, if you are given if you are given existing category id then let's see It will not get added and um, it will show as boot book room is exist enter another id so we have to add uh, another let's say x y z and let's say add so this is category added and this is added over here uh, now category is added now we have to add room so as we have just added x y z uh, we will take this and you can see there are only 17 entries now let's add one more room see a uh, room is added and this gate change into number 18 so room is added and now it is shown over here as we as there are only one room means we have just added one room so a number of room of this category will be number one uh, if user want um, then he can also delete a room category and all the um, and just by refreshing he will get this yeah now um, he can say see the status As um, uh, we have seen in user uh, user side, Akshita has um, booked the room. Her name and uh, booking ID was 65. Uh, so she, uh, her booking status is shown over here. And using this, uh, admin will get to know that this uh, this user have have registered and booked the room, and also payment staff payment statement. Uh, her book ID was the 65 and all the status all this information now employee he will get all the information of um, um, of employees if any employee resigns he can just delete uh, it from from, the, from this and this is profile and after log out this all will get disappeared and yeah now employee part Employee, f employee first have to register themselves uh, their, as per their category let's say receptionist name is Nikita uh, email Nikita at the 
at gmail.com then you contact something then username then date of birth let's say for example take this date then date of joining then salary and password and also image for profile let's say this and just click register she is successfully registered then after uh, registering in she have to log in now this is um, uh, button is login and uh, just a welcome statement after logging in and just a refresh uh, she will get her profile and uh, welcome Nikki statement as username will be shown here as uh, she is employed she is uh, she has given only one module that is, that is profile uh, employee does not have any work means uh, does not have any work uh, in website they just have to register themselves and by using this uh, um, email ID and password they have to a login in app for their further um, process if she want edit her profile she can edit it and after logout she will she will get logout and this button get changed into login and welcome just welcome statement will get appear so this was all about website thank you